This isn't gonna work well. <laughs> it's fun. Hello, I am Cindy Brown and welcome to Supposedly Chic. So glad to have you guys here today. We are going to be unboxing the one that started it all here at the channel, which is Stitch Fix. For all of you loyal subbies, this indeed is the ruffle sleeve top that due to overwhelming uh, support of this top, I ended up keeping it. And guys, I'm glad that I listened to you because I love it. So yeah, um, yeah you guys can kind of see it. It's, I'm not one of those unboxing gals that talks about all this stuff and then sends it all back. I, I do supplement my wardrobe with these pieces. They are uh, usually phenomenal. And I will tell you that I have taken more fashion risks and uh, gotten more quality stuff through these unboxings than any shopping spree at any store I've ever done. So guys, if you are on the fence about trying these clothing subscription boxes, the investment is small. I, I think the most expensive styling fee we get is like $20. So you're, you're basically risking 20 bucks if you don't like anything in the box. But I, I, I just wanted to encourage you to, to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and try it because oftentimes guys, you, you get boxes like what we got in this month's Stitch Fix where every piece guys out of the box from what I'm looking at is pretty phenomenal. We got a lot of colors. We got a lot of different styles. We got a lot of little edgy uh, features. So the way that Stitch Fix works guys is they send you five pieces every single month. It's always five, never more, never less. There are uh, clothing pieces, there are purses, shoes and jewelry. You can get a mixture of any of those. We received all clothing pieces this month. So no shoes, no jewelry, but that's probably okay. We received three blouses, all very completely different styles. We received um, a pair of pull on work slacks and a really cool lace pencil skirt. So uh, like I said, kind of digging the colors, kind of digging the outfit combinations that we can pull off with these five pieces. So what we will do here is we're gonna do the try-ons right now where you're gonna see kind of up close and personal what they look like on, how they fit, how I like them on me. And then when we are done here, what we'll do is talk a little bit about how Stitch Fix works. Stitch Fix is one of the subscriptions that uh, incentivizes you to keep all of their pieces. So we'll talk about what that looks like. And if you are new here at the channel, First and foremost, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying what you see so far. I ask just three things of all new visitors here at Supposedly Chic, and that is like, share, and subscribe. Like this episode. If you like what you've seen so far, guys, please give us a big thumbs up. Share this episode with your family and friends, and subscribe. If you subscribe and if you push the little bell icon, you will be notified of any new content we have here at the channel and you won't miss anything that's going on at Supposedly Chic. So gang, I say we grab our first piece and we start doing the try-ons of our January Stitch Fix. All right, so what do y'all think? This is by Renee C, which is funny because I'd never even heard of Renee C before, but we got it in our fashion box. We also got it in our Stitch Fix box. This is called the Elvira Lace Skirt. I'm always sort of conflicted when it comes to just sort of uh, pencil skirts. Like I always try to want to try and wear something over it, but then I, I just feel sometimes like it doesn't do it justice. So I paired it today with one of my bodysuits and just a pair of kind of my little uh, heel boots so you can see it. Guys, the cool thing is it's an elastic waistband, so it, it moves with you. Here's what we got going. The lace is very intriguing to me because it's like an under sheath, but it almost sort of looks like I don't know like it's just lace so that's kind of a cool I guess exciting piece of it um, so tell me what you think I like the length here's what we got going in the back I think it kind of hugs my curves pretty well it looks kind of cool with the bodysuit I think if I don't kill myself I'm gonna try really hard to get up on the step stool so you can kind of see the whole look but I am gonna have to walk to the wall all right how's that guys so what do you think I kind of been digging it kind of digging it for sure um, I think we could sit. Well, we got a chair right here. Let's see how that works. Yeah, it's really comfortable to sit in. Yeah, I, uh, I, and the price point for kind of a virtual skirt like this is pretty good. It may very well be one of the more edgier pieces that I've ever got from Stitch Fix, but, uh, that's kind of what I've been asking them for. So can't complain, right? What do you think? Does it need a belt? Does it need anything right here? Hold that thought. All right. So while this may not be the ideal belt, cause it doesn't have like a loop here for this, this is kind of what it would look like with a belt. I think that kind of, for me, streamlines it a little bit. I just have to line it up to where yeah there like that maybe so that's a thought what do you think let me know if it's a, a belt kind of a thing or a no belt kind of a thing but again this is the renee c elvira lace 
pencil skirt. So the sole leader pants we got today is from Erica Taylor. These are the Karen Straight Leg Pant. I think I like them. I'm not a big fan of the price point on them since they are just a pull on sort of pair of slacks. But I thought I would show them to you with the boots and then we'll take them off, take the boots off so you guys can kind of see where they land on my on my uh, ankle. But they're again, very comfortable. They're just pull on pants. They have a mock fly right here. They're a good navy color. I feel like they would be a very good transition piece. I could wear them with just about everything. So let's just bugged again by the price point a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a thing, maybe not a thing. So there's the complete look on my cute little stool here. It always scares me again, the stool and heels. But that's kind of what we're looking at as far as the look. Now I'm going to take the heels off. I can move around a little bit better. So they are truly like a pedal pusher length. They looked good with those boots. They would look good with uh, just normal pumps or flats. Really like these pants a lot. I'm going to pair them with our one of our tops. It's not a, a bodysuit, but actually tucked out. And we'll see what that looks like. So give me one second. I'll be right back. All right. So now we've got the pants paired with a top that's a little bit longer than the bodysuit. This is by Calvin Klein. This is the Parnetta cap sleeve top. So this top is kind of a mixed bag of materials. The bottom is the uh, sort of satin, almost gauzy material, as is the pocket. The rest of it, it, oh, the sleeves are also that same material. The rest of it is cotton. I was gonna say I wasn't a huge fan of the pocket, but I think it sort of now ties into the sleeves and the trim. So uh, yeah, you can take a look at the whole look again with these pants and just some flats. Pretty simple top, really great price point. I'm finding that the Stitch Fix Calvin Klein items are always a really great price point and really great material. So here's our complete look. I just again threw it on with some flats that you can see I could throw some heels on with it. This blouse is nice because it's pretty fitted and it's pretty versatile because it's black. So we could very definitely throw a blazer over it, throw a cardigan over it, and kind of be good to go. So let me know what you think about this outfit. This is the Calvin Klein top and the Erica Taylor pants. All right, so our next top is from Daniel Rain. This is the B Crew, B-E-C-R-U, lace detail blouse in white. Um, guys, it's $68. It's a little bit of a high price point for me for kind of a, a white sort of simple top, but I just sort of like it. You know, I, I always have something to say about the keyhole back and the buttons. Either the buttons are hard to do. This one, guys, is actually a tie, so it's the easiest one I've been able to put on yet. There's a lot of stuff I could do with this. I mean, it definitely would carry into spring and summertime. I could throw it on with a little pair of shorts. I could throw it on with a, like a, a maxi skirt. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good with the cropped pants. This is actually kind of a cute look. Just not a huge fan of the price point, but again, guys, I've liked everything we've done here with Stitch Fix so far, so again, we know how Stitch Fix works. This guy could end up being free by the time we're done. So uh, yeah, this is the Daniel Rain. I like the lace detail. Yeah, what do I say? It's feminine, which is uh, unusual, I guess, is, is kind of a good way to say it. A lot of times nowadays, everything's very sort of structured, um, straight lines, kind of mannish maybe, business professional. So it's nice when you can get something that's got a little bit of lace in it. Uh, this is really, a bit, and it's very comfortable. Cap sleeves, so in the spring and summer, I can wear it with nothing. As it gets cooler in the evenings or kind of late winter, I can throw something over it. So we have one more top to talk about, and guys, wait till you see the color scheme on this next top from Stitch Fix, right? This is our last piece from Stitch Fix and I, I hadn't quite done it on purpose, but I think I may have saved the best for last. This is 41 Hawthorne, my fave. They call this the Ivy Texture Blouse in Blush. Guys, look at how great it looks with the Erica Taylor pants. It's like this outfit was meant to be. I am a humongous fan of sort of rose and navy and this sort of puts all of that together. The cuff sleeves are annoying me a little bit because they're not staying and uh, that's a pet peeve of mine. So maybe we could do something with some Hollywood tape or something to hold that there. But what a really nice streamlined professional look this is. Uh, I like the V-neck. I like, uh, you know, this doesn't need to be longer in the back, but it is. So it's no harm, no foul, I guess. Here's the back. Here's our side view. And again, the flat neck and the V collar. It's sort of all of the things that I love in a blouse and uh, they never steer me wrong, do they? Let's see, uh, maybe not obviously with the print, the pattern flats, but if I just had some cream color flats or some black flats, that is a really sort of great, I want to say preppy, right? Almost preppy sort of business look. Oh my goodness, I just love it a lot. So again, this is a 41 Hawthorne and is our last piece for our Stitch Fix unboxing. So give me a second, I'm gonna grab all my stuff. We're gonna sit down and talk about how much we like everything everything that we looked at and how we get it at a discount. So I don't know about you all, but I'm thinking this might be a five for five this month with our January Stitch Fix. What a bunch of really great pieces, right guys? I specifically love the way that the uh, 41 Hawthorne and the 
Erica Taylor pants go together like they were meant to be an outfit. I really like that look of sort of the tapered uh, crop pants along with sort of a little bit of a, a blouse here over top. I just think that's such a really classy look. Uh, guys, I am very intrigued with the lace skirt that we got that is from Renee C. It's the Elvira lace pencil skirt. Um, price point on that wasn't bad at all for kind of the, the uh, variations that you can do with that. And uh, yeah, the other two tops I thought were great also. So so what is a five for five? For those of you guys who are new, you're like, Cindy, what are you talking about? What is a five for five? Well, since Stitch Fix only sends five pieces every month, we're always, all of us, us, us guys and gals that subscribe to Stitch Fix, are always hoping for a five for five because what that means is that we can then utilize the discount incentive that Stitch Fix gives to us. What is a discount incentive? If you keep all five pieces that Stitch Fix sends you on any given month, you will get a 25% buy all discount. Now that's a pretty substantial discount and oftentimes for me, uh, if I love four pieces and kind of am on the fence on one of them, oftentimes that discount amount alone is equal to or greater than the cost of the item I'm on the fence on. So it's like I'm getting that sort of iffy item for free and I can usually find a way somehow to take an iffy item and make it a, a, a thumbs up item if it's free. Right? So let's talk about what these all cost and what it means to get the five for five discount. Okay, so the most expensive item was the pants, which I, I, was one of the things I love the most. That was the Erica Taylor pants and they were $88. Okay, so keep that $88 number in mind. The Calvin Klein black top, the cap uh, sleeve top was 38. The 41 Hawthorne top was 58. The pencil skirt was 48. And then the Daniel Rain lace top was 68. And again, if I wasn't working towards the five for five, I think this little sort of lace top 68 is a little much for it. But let's look at what this all, what this does for us with a five for five. Okay, so all five of these pieces, the subtotal is $300, which again, 300 times five, that's like 60 bucks a piece. So it ain't, ain't necessarily a phenomenal deal. Okay, but the 25% buy all discount is $75. So all of a sudden, these adorable pair of pants that, that I don't know how I'm gonna live without that are $88, now they cost me 12 bucks because I'm getting $75 credit towards this pair of pants. So if I keep all five pieces, we were at $225. The way that all clothing subscriptions work is they charge your credit card the styling fee the moment this box leaves their warehouse. Okay, so I got, my credit card got charged $20 about a week ago. If I hated everything here and I sent all five pieces back and I said, yuck, they would keep that 20 bucks because that's their cost of doing business. But if I keep even one of these pieces, that $20 will go towards my purchase. Okay, so let's say for instance, all I would do is keep this guy that was 60 bucks. They would charge my credit card 40 because they already charged it 20. Okay. So our subtotal is 225 after that buy all discount. You take the $20 that I've already paid off of it. Now we're at $205 for all five of these pieces. And now we're looking at 40 bucks a pop. That's not a bad deal when you kind of think about the wear and the, the styling that we'll be able to get with this. Okay. So with these, with these solid Navy pants, I can pair every top we got the white one, the black one, and the multicolor striped one with this pair of pants. And we've got an outfit with the pencil skirt. I can pair the black top with it. I can pair the white top with it. So you see how just in just in what we looked at, we've got, what is that? Like 10 or 12 different outfit combinations. And that's just with these five pieces. Now you take this pair of pants and the, the black ruffle sleeve top that I got from Truck Club. Boom, I got an outfit there. I've got black pants on right now. I pair that with the white blouse. So you see that the combinations when you get a great box like this with these sort of pieces that are unique. Okay, so they're not just sort of plain and, and generic, they're unique pieces. You know, this one's got a bunch of lace, this one's got the mixed material, and of course this one's got the beautiful colors to it. Gang, it, the, the, the options, the option that I can create with these five pieces is, is exponential. I, I don't even, it's infinite, right? So, I'm thinking guys, we did a five for five, and uh, yay to Stitch Fix. Did I even read to you? I'm not even certain that I read to you. I don't think I've even read the letter we got from our stylist. Hang tight, I'm gonna grab that real quick and we're gonna see what she had to say about this. I actually had to go on a trek to go find it. I actually have not even and looked at the style card. So let's just take a second and talk about that. It's kind of hard to see here, but what Stitch Fix does, which uh, not a lot of the other um, subscriptions do, is they give you a styling recommendation on every piece here. So you can see that, for instance, on the, the Ivy Texture blouse from 41 Hawthorne, they have a pair with jeans and flats, and they have a pair with a black skirt, which I, I guess there's a little bit of black in it. But so we get this every month that kind of gives us a, a boost to our imagination, I guess, on, on what we can put stuff together with. There's a lot of times where they'll have colors matched 
with one of these pieces that I would not necessarily have thought of before. Um, also included on this is the letter that we get every month from our stylist. My letter this month says, Hey Cindy, it is great to style you again. I am so glad that you were pleased with your last fix and really enjoyed your feedback. I thought you would look amazing in this lace Renee C pencil skirt as it has a nice fit that will look great on your silhouette. Pair it with a black knit top, blazer, and heels for a day to night style. The Erica Taylor trousers is a must have for work as they are classic and versatile. Girl, she ain't lying. The pants will become a go-to and look great when paired with a colorful striped blouse and flats or with a Daniel Rain white lace blouse and a lightweight cardigan. Hope this new box of goodies delights you, XOXO Chicole. Chicole took over, actually, she took over for our other stylist, that her name is escaping right now because she was on vacation and, and I think that we've got Chicole moving forward, which works for me because uh, I'm loving this stuff, guys, for sure. So yeah, I think we're, if we can just sneak it past the hobby, uh, we're, we're keeping everything in this month's Stitch Picks. And guys, these are the boxes that I live for. I'm telling you, uh, the only bad, the only downside is, uh, and I know all you East Coasters are going to be like, wah, wah, Cindy. But it is doggone cold here in California. It has been raining nonstop. And by nonstop in California, I mean like every other day, which is a lot for us. If you listen to all the news, like last year we had a drought. We couldn't water our lawn more than two times a week. It was against the law to wash our car in the driveway. So we need the rain. But this this sleeveless top and uh, the cap sleeve top, they're probably not gonna be worn by themselves for a number of months, but that's okay. Um, I'll go dig through my closet one day in springtime and look at this guy and go, oh, I forgot I had that. So gang, this is what we do here at Supposedly She. Every dog on Friday morning, you're gonna wake up at a 9 a.m. Pacific time, you're gonna see an unboxing video. Uh, we do Stitch Fix every single month. We do Trunk Club every single month. We do uh, Nadine West and we just introduced fashion every single month. Uh, every two months, guys, we do Wantable. Wantable has both a fashion edit and a fitness edit. We get both, we review both. We do quarterly boxes, we do Fab Fit Fun, and we do Cause Box. And at times we do specialty boxes like the Bad Habit Boutique. And so there's always something going on here, guys. It's always a little bit different. We are looking into some jewelry and some accessory um, boxes as well. Uh, guys, I've stumbled onto a couple of sort of like, I guess you call them online boutiques. If you think LuLaRoe, but clothes that are like this and not the sort of LuLaRoe brand, um, we're going to start doing some hauls from those. I, I have a couple of gals actually that used to do LuLaRoe and now do other things. And man, I'm telling you, their stuff is everywhere from earrings to shoes to bags to, to shirts to leggings. And uh, guys, I actually have to turn off, turn them off on my Facebook alert sometimes because I'm telling you, I could buy something from them every other day. Uh, so we are going to sort of grab some of those items, some of the gems that we've gotten from a couple of those boutiques and share them with you just kind of as a one-off. Uh, if you guys are on Facebook, I will put the link down below to the two that I enjoy the most. It's Abella Co, Abella Story and Co, and I can't recall the other one right now off the top of my head. Uh, in addition to our Friday morning unboxing, guys, every single Sunday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we do a live content here on this YouTube channel called Dirt Chic Unscripted. It's me and all my subscribers, my husband with his two YouTube channels and all of his subscribers. We all get together and hang out for about an hour on a Sunday night. We do challenges, we do the subbies get to ask any question they want. We do my husband does my makeup. It is pretty much a fun time and I would love to see you there. Additionally guys, we are settling in after our big move and uh, now that we sort of got everything where it belongs, now it's where, what do we, where, what pictures do we want to hang? Do we want to paint this room a certain color? Oh gosh, we need to refinish the bathroom cabinets. And guys, we are taking you along on that journey. It is called Chic House. And to be quite honest, uh, we don't do them every single week. You'll probably see a Chic House about once a month on Wednesdays. And uh, it could be anything from doing a home goods run to try and find stuff to put above our mantle to uh, are we gonna use chalk paint or uh, you know like acrylic latex paint to paint our bathroom cabinets. Lots of good stuff coming up and it's kind of fun. My husband is a handyman, I'm the design girl. So together we make a pretty good team. So you don't want to miss Chic house when you see it pop up. Guys, I think that's just about a wrap for our Stitch Fix. As you can tell, I'm kind of giddy because I love when I get a five for five. Tomorrow is Monday and so I'm going to be wearing this outfit for sure for uh, my business meeting. So yeah, guys, this is what we do here at the channel. If you are new at Supposedly Chic, I do me just one favor before you leave. That's just pound that subscribe button down below me. And since you are new here at this channel, I'm going to go ahead and throw up a couple of videos. They're going to go right here. They're going to sort of get you started a little bit about what we are about here at the channel. And gang, until next time, this is Cindy at Supposedly Chic. And make it a good one.